And we had a nice day today with the sunshine and very warm temperatures. We're still seeing that sun now over the downtown area from our Plant Riverside District Sky Can. I think we'll see a few more clouds trying to work back on here throughout the evening hours, but only a very slight chance for an isolated shower or thunderstorm. And it remains very warm too. We're looking at lows only into the mid to upper 60s when you wake up on your Saturday. Some will set this evening at 756. So as we go hour by hour, we are still going to see those temperatures into the 80s, into that 6, 7 o'clock hour, and then only a slow cool into low 70s by midnight. There's that 10% chance for an isolated shower storm, mainly through about that midnight time frame. Otherwise, we'll be drier overnight. And there you see those upper 60s into that 5 o'clock hour. Today, we started out at 66, topped out for the second day in a row with a high temperature of 90 degrees. And we still have some very warm temperatures now. A little bit warmer for some of the inland areas where the sea breeze has not quite yet made it. We can see the sea breeze now moving through uh, western areas of uh, Jasper County, just about to get into Effingham County. Uh, down into uh, Chatham County and upper 80s to about 90 inland, low 80s as you get along into the east of where that frontal boundary is. There's a lot of those temperatures in the 80s from Charlotte, Atlanta, down across the Gulf Coast. Look at the 60s across central areas of Tennessee. They are behind the cold front. We can see that right now. This is going to be a very slow moving front stretching from parts of the Ohio Valley back into the southeast here. And there are a few showers associated with the front right now. A little upper level energy is going to dive across our area. We can see some of those showers now just about to get into the Augusta region. So that's why we keep a slight chance for a shower this evening. Better chance for that late day shower storm tomorrow because the cold front will slowly be making its way over the area before moving south of the region by Sunday. Looks like probably sometime Sunday morning, so we're not going to be quite as warm coming up Sunday afternoon. There's a look at some of the rainfall totals expected over the next 48 hours. And we're looking at generally less than about a half an inch of rain for most locations. So we do start out dry tomorrow, upper 60s in that 7 o'clock hour. By noontime, we're in the low to mid 80s across the areas. Warmer for the inland regions. Looks like we'll have highs in the low to mid 80s, the beaches. And there's that rain chance creeping in into that 5 o'clock hour. So if you're heading out to the RBC Heritage, that rain chance is going to be even higher Sunday afternoon, later Sunday afternoon and evening, a little bit lower there for the morning hours. First alert, seven day forecast showing you the cooler temperatures. 70s there on Sunday, 60s for highs on Monday. How about some lows in the mid to upper 40s here on our Tuesday? It'll be nice and dry though with that sunshine, and we're back in the 80s Wednesday, heading into Friday.